What's going on YouTube? Bent Crypto here, here to give you another video. Today's video is going to be about iGas iRAM on the IOST blockchain. I hope everyone's doing well. If you need any assistance, you can find me in the greenhouse, the telegram group that I am the owner of. <laughs> and uh, if you need the link, the link is in the description below. Make sure that you, you utilize it and you can find me at Ben Crypto in that Telegram group. Before we get started, we're going to talk about the IOST price and how it looks. Right now, it's trading at 37 Satoshis, fairly low. There is a downtrend on the daily. So uh, if you're looking to get into IOST at a good price, you can accumulate now, uh, but there most likely you might want to wait for a confirmation. When Bitcoin confirmation, a good confirmation or a good time to think about is when Bitcoin starts settling down. When you see Bitcoin settle down for at least a week, might not be a bad time to get in because if there's an alt run, I believe IOST could be one of those. Because remember, IOST has not gone through a bull run like Tron has. So it's not a bad idea to at least keep IOST on your radar. All right, iGas, iRAM. What is iGas? What is iRAM? These are questions that are going to be answered today. So, IOST key network resources are divided into iGas and iRAM. So, there's two components, all right? iGas, basically, you need iGas in order to um, make transactions. So, right here, iGas are transaction fees to be paid when you make a transaction on the IOST network, all right? So that's how you're able to make a transaction. So let's say you're trying to purchase a token. So if I go to purchase a token here, I need to make sure that I have high gas. Now I have 0% use. This is my, this is my limit. It's 600 and X, Y, Z. I don't, I, I, I <laughs> my brain doesn't count that quick. So, but it's a lot. So I haven't used much lately so I can use um, I have 0% used basically. All right. That's how you can keep track. How can I get iGas? So you can basically get iGas by staking IOST. If you stake IOST, you get a little bit of iGas daily. Um, I'll leave a link. I'll leave this article link in the description so you can do further research, but I'm just going over the basics. So all you have to do is basically stake iGas. So what you'll do is when you go to iGas, you're going to pledge. What you want to do is you want to pledge a certain amount. Um, I'm going to show you how to do uh, 40. You can also you can also pledge iGas or you could pledge IOST or stake I, stake IOST to another account as well. So if your other account doesn't have any IOST or an account doesn't have much IOST, so what I can do is I can always pledge it for another account. I'm not going to do that today. Going to keep it simple. I'm going to pledge uh, 40. So this is basically the iGas usage transaction ID. Now, okay. And now there it goes. As you can see, my iGas increased. Uh, my usage increased. My balance went down to 209. And as you can see, I used some iGas in order to do that movement. Or sorry, that transaction, I should say. How much I guess would be consumed on the transaction on the mainnet? So here is the calculated formula here. I gas quantity equals C gas command gas consumption times number of commands times gas rate. So that's how you can do the math behind it. Uh, let's see now IRAM. You can receive IOST storage resources using IRAM. IRAM plays an important role in DAP development. IRAM calculations uses the bond, bond core algorithm. So basically you're purchasing a certain amount of IRAM. So what, what you're basically going to be doing the same thing. So when you go to IRAM, you're going to purchase a certain amount. So let's say I'm going to purchase some IRAM because I don't even have, I don't even have that much. So, oh, that's how much it costs. So a hundred, a <laughs> hundred kilobytes of IRAM is going to cost you 547 so i'm looking to just spend 100 so let me say uh let's say 15 that should be good enough so i'm going to purchase 15 kilobytes of iram for 81.1930 iost i'm going to hit submit 
and then that's going to go through as you can see this is my eye gas usage and then if i go here once it goes through you'll see that the eye gas has increased so we'll check out we'll check on that uh, basically that's how you you purchase eye gas uh or sorry i ram and then you're pledging staking for eye gas and when you pledge stake for eye gas this increases this is your limit so this is how much you have this is how much i ha currently have available this is how much i've used and as you can see it just moved because my iram transaction went through so now i've increased my iram so used is 1.29 kilobytes my balance is 20 26 and i believe there is a total of 128 gigabytes i believe that's gigabytes so if there's any questions if there's anything that you need please do your research on this article great article um and um yeah check out the greenhouse check out my node if you have IOST laying around or you're feeling generous, just vote for me. One thing I did want to show you guys, I bought OTBC, like I said I was going to, 429. I bought about 2,900 and it filled at 0.9. I'm already 2x. I can already 2x. And I'm checking the supply. This can easily go up. So keep your eyes peeled. Ben Crypto on the IOST side of things. Out.